episode four of the Bomber Show here, Friday night in Flim Flon, Manitoba, if you can believe it. Bombers, four and oh, one win on the road, three at home. Nobody's matched their intensity or their scoring yet. Today, co-host Peter Premichuk, we have a show, the end all shows. You're not gonna believe this show. You wanna stick around because we got some interviews with former bombers. We got Peter Pramachuk here is gonna do some stories about uh, his dad, uh, a, a historical figure in this town. So stick around, don't be flipping because this is the one bomber show on Shaw Cable TV that you do not wanna miss. So don't be flipping. There's nothing better on TV than this right now. So we'll get with you in a minute. So here we are with Peter Premichuk. Peter, you're an old, dear old friend of mine, going right. way back in the day on on Parkway, the the Willowvale bunk, the the whole growing up in Flimflon in the 1960s. And your dad had a role in Flimflon. Not only was he a revered doctor at the hospital, but he was also uh, had a great connection with the hockey community. Um, why, why don't you talk a bit about your dad's history with the Bombers and what he did when uh, you moved out to uh, Ottawa in, what was it, 73 or 74? Uh, 1972, Brent. Yes, he, I mean, I, I sat in a room just, just behind the camera here many times and, and, and helped him stitch players up, uh, stitch Bombers up and things like that. Uh, he, he loved his time in Flin Flon. I saw him set noses. I saw him do all kinds of stuff. Uh, once he moved out to Ottawa, he's involved with the Ottawa 67s. He was also uh, fortunate enough that the Atlanta Flames at that time were training in Ottawa. So he covered them. He covered Team Canada. He was with the uh, World Junior team in Sweden one year with Brian Kilray. So a long career in, in hockey. But, you know, his home really was here in Flin Flon. He always wore his bomber uh, golf shirt, his bomber sweatshirt. He always felt he was born in the Paw, so he was a Manitoba boy all the way, and he just felt grounded here in Flin Flon. I do recall when we were kids in that very room, him stitching up a, a former bomber captain, no freezing, just stitch that yeah. thing up. You don't have to be pretty when you go back on the ice. You just can't bleed all over the place. Yeah. He's also got uh, two Memorial Cup rings. He's got two Memorial mm -hmm. Cup rings and uh, with uh, with the Ottawa 67s. And he was also just started here in Flin Flon in 1957 when the Bombers won their first their first championship. So. Well, it was, it was a, a, a great man, a great, uh, a great uh, physician from Flin Flon, delivered like a lot of kids around here who were born in the 50s and 60s <clears throat> and went on to, you know, a, a pretty good career uh, in Ottawa. And uh, certainly I know that uh, some of the fans out there are definitely going to remember Dr. Premichuk. And of course, this is his son, Peter, and he look, they look a little bit about Pete Jr. And being the son of a doctor, of course, that gives you the insight and some hockey injuries. Uh, he used to set noses right on the bench, I recall. Well, not right on the bench. He, he would sometimes set them in the runway because he, he believed and he knew that the cartilage was still soft from broken noses. So once he got out uh, into eastern Canada, they would send him to the hospital and operate and do things like that. Uh, for the most part, he was used to being here in Flin Flon where they would uh, just set them, uh, put a Band-Aid on them, and put them back out on the ice. So, Like yeah. real men. Well, uh, yeah, I would guess so, yeah. I mean, he did have a player who had his had to go to the hospital and had all kinds of breathing problems after next time he broke it my dad said it and uh, you know sure enough six months later he broke it again he just came down the runway he snapped it in they threw a, a band-aid on it a face mask and back he went so he's you know pretty common in that regard so a true flanonian thanks peter for sharing some of that uh, information on your dad i want you all to stick around because we're going to bring on a former i'm talking real former captain of the Flim Flon Junior Bomber is going to tell you some real far out stories so stick around don't be flipping that channel because it's the Bomber Show on Shaw Cable TV. Here we are with Blair Davidson former captain a Flin Flon native I mean we the three of us used to play Willow hockey Bunk. Willowville Bunk I mean right. out of the three of us probably Blair you were the weakest player but you went right. the furthest in, in terms of, of your career tell us about your experience in Flin Flon and about your experience with the uh, unsanctioned but still <laughs> exciting uh, contest against the first junior Soviet team because that's a big deal you know in my mind uh, well, Flin Flon growing up here, of course, these guys I was at the Willowville Bunk with for years and years. There's a lot of us down there. It's really where we all got our start in hockey, and uh, it was exciting. Uh, playing in Flin Flon obviously was a dream come true. I, I remember telling my mom when I was a young kid that I was going to be a bomber, and that's what we did. Ended up, my brother and I both ended up playing for it. We thought we'd have Pete with us, but uh, he decided to go to Ottawa and try that. Why? 
Never sure. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Blair, you remember when we were in Midget All Star, I played goal, and you were you were a defenseman, so that should answer your question, yeah. probably. Well, that's why you yeah, got a lot of shots. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got a lot of yeah, shots. Right. And so, Blair, tell us about the experience with the, the first uh, games. I think Canada junior level played against the uh, Russians, and uh, just a bit. And don't forget to mention your stats in the uh, in your recollection and whether or not you won the game. Because uh, well, I heard it meant more than the Summit Series. <laughs> That's what I heard, the way I oh, heard it, it from it, you. It, anyway. it, it, yeah, from me. Everybody hears it from that. It was pretty. Uh, it was pretty exciting series. I'm not sure if it was the first one we played. It was the World Juniors. It was in Winnipeg and Brandon, I believe, unsanctioned. But uh, there was quite a collection of hockey players. Uh, Kent Nielsen was there from Sweden. The Stasny brothers were there from uh, Czechoslovakia. We had, uh, playing with us, Brian Trotje, Ryan Sutter, Eddie Stanielski, Kevin McCarthy, a few of those guys. It was uh, by far, it would be the highlight of my, my life, my career in hockey, certainly. Uh, a lot of fun. We, were, uh, we lost to the Russians in the last game, which was unfortunate. But uh, up to then, we had a great, great series. You know, I watched the first game in Ottawa, Blair. I remember because I think you and Mark both scored in that game, right? Or Mark got a couple. Mark Davidson, a couple goals anyway. I remember watching that game quite vividly, one of them. Yeah. Anyway. That was my little brother, Mark. Yes, he did score a couple of goals. Um, I think but he was a forward, Blair, and they get all the glory. And you stay-at-home uh, defensemen, exactly. you know, are dependable people. It's not about the stats, but it's about the girls. Well, yeah, it's about the girls. And actually, it is about the stats, because I never stayed at home. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, all I right. was gone all the time. But, uh, yeah, no, it, uh, that, that was exciting. You know, we got a chance to meet lots of different people. And uh, even had a great visit with a couple of Russian players after the game. We went to their hotel room and uh, they poured us a couple of tall glasses of vodka and that was uh, it. We sat around with them for half an hour so it was it was an exciting time for all of us. You know I, one thing about Blair I think Lefty that a lot of people don't know is that he is in every NHL stats book. <laughs> and uh, oh, oh do tell. He is. Uh, he was you know in the WHA stream of things and he did he did get some statistics that you will see him in every NHL, WHA book around. Maybe he'll tell us about it. Well, that's why I tell all my friends. If you got a chance to get up there, even if it's for two games, which is all it was, uh, I still got it a still penalty. Count. I still got a penalty. I'm in. I'm in there, man. <laughs> Good work, Blair. You made us all proud down at the Willowville Bunk. I'm here with Peter Prevachuk, Blair Davidson, former captain when the when the uh, Flintflon Junior Bombers were in the Western Canada Hockey League, which is basically the dub now. A uh, bit of a, a, a step up from the, the Junior A leagues, but uh, thanks for being on the show. And uh, it's great to see you coming back to Flintflon all the time, both of you guys, and uh, spending time up here in, uh, in your old hometowns. Well, we both got cabins up here. We're back here a lot in the summertime, so, and I love coming out to watch Bomber games when I'm in town. So Excellent. Hey. Stick around on the Bomber Show. We're going to have Mike Reagan or boy Michael George on, and then uh, we're going to talk some actual relevant hockey instead of this whole historical society thing. So stick around. Shaw Cable TV, because you don't want to be anywhere else. I don't even care if the presidential debate is on. It doesn't matter. Stick with us here. Uh. Here we are with Mike Reagan, coach and general manager, or manager of the 4-0 Flint Flon Junior Bombers. You've been making some moves lately. What's going on? Good start. Let's talk. Well, we've been real busy. Probably the last 48 hours have been uh, probably one of the most busy times that we've had as a, as a coach here, I guess. Even more busy than a January 10th deadline. Yeah. But uh, we brought Brett Penner back from school. Yeah. yeah. So he'll be in the lineup next week. and. You know, we moved Logan Sevier to Melford for a list guy and then some cash. And then uh, we also moved uh, Richard Dartnell to Weiwei. Got a little bit of cash there. And then uh, we traded for Spencer Malt, a big uh, guy from Saskatoon that we've been trying to get for the last three years. So uh, as Woody put it, I, I got my unicorn and we're, we're pretty excited about uh, the addition of him. And he'll join the club next week as well. Yeah, now he's a big body kid, right? Yeah, he's 6'1", you know, 190, 195, so he's going to bring a physical presence and he's he's a character guy that's got some grit and, you know, he played for Melford a little bit there the one year and had 15 points in yeah. 23 games and so he, he's done real well when he's been in the SJ, so we're hoping that he can do the same here. So I'm feeling like you're, you're going to have, in any given night, you're going to have a, a great line sitting in the press box or in the stands. Well, we're hoping that, uh, you know, our depth is going to be real strong. And you look at Humboldt and, you know, they uh, had a heck of a year last year. And, you know, those guys that were sitting in the stands could have probably played on uh, two or three teams' first lines. And, you know, that'll make the difference during a playoff run. 
Um, since the beginning of the, of the season, you know there's been a lot of talk about the Andrew Johnson trade, and you see this uh, kid Roach come in as advertised, would you say? I, I would think so. I mean, he, 10 points in four games is pretty good, and, you know, Johnny Dukes made that trade, and he did a heck of a job for us, and we're, we're pretty excited to have Roach here. Well, I would, I, I would say so far, so far, so good. Uh, what, what's Kindersley going to bring for, for you tonight? Well, they're, they're a good young hockey club. I was looking at their decor, and, you know, they've got some young guys there that are going to be uh, extremely, uh, you know, high-end players in this league in a year's time. And uh, so they should, uh, they should give us a lot to handle here tonight, but it's, uh, that's what it's about. You know, the SJ's a tough league, night in, night out. Yeah. Small trivia fact for you. Uh, -oh. uh you ready for this? Because I pull these out, and, you know, Sometimes I know it makes you a little nervous, the unexpected. I'm extremely you, nervous right now. Did you know that Peter Premachuk was born in Melfort, Saskatchewan? That's what I want to say right now. Well, I don't know if we can have him on the show then if he was born in Melfort. Weeks. I only spent six <laughs> weeks there, so I'm okay. Okay, then well. Then I moved to Flint. You're, so. you're accepted then. Okay. That's good to hear. Well, I thought Peter was going to contribute more to this interview, so I may have to dismiss him. Mike, thanks a lot. We look forward to uh, seeing the Clippers tonight and the Bombers. you got two games here, then you got another one at home or another two at home before you hit the road again? Yeah, two more at home, and then we're on the road for four games and five nights. Well, you can build up a, some good momentum before you hit the road with uh, a couple more victories. That'd be a sweet thing. So thanks for being on the show. Stick around, Shaw Cable TV. We may bring in one more assistant coach who recently became engaged. He's going to get married at Center Ice, I heard. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah, he did a good job. You know, he's a bit of a romantic, that uh, <laughs> Michael <laughs> Boy George. So stick around. Maybe we'll bring Mike on the, the new uh, to be, uh, what do they call that? Uh, groom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't go away. Stick around. Here we are with Michael George, newly engaged. I mean, this is big news. Beautiful wife. What's going on? Uh... Just, you know, put a couple nails in my coffin, I guess, oh. and uh, moving on. Now, uh, the scuttlebutt is it would happen at center ice. Is there, is there any truth to that? Yeah, you know, uh, want to make it special. Obviously, it's uh, something you do once in a lifetime, or hopefully, fingers crossed, I guess. Uh, uh, Does she watch this show? Because I, I don't know, man. Come on. I hope not, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens, yeah. I guess. But, yeah, I just uh, uh, thought it would be a cool way to do something uh, like that. Uh, Hockey is obviously a big part of my life, and it has been and will be, so I thought it uh, would be a good way to do it and uh, something to catch her off guard. Now, Peter has a question for you that's burning in his heart Ooh, he, because he wants, he wants to be on TSN and, okay. you know, Sports, yeah, yeah. Sports Channel West. So, Peter, with a very, very prestigious uh, – hockey background himself and I believe you play with Dennis Potvin is that not true that was a long time ago for anybody that remembers him yeah that's true that's true I'm just wondering I mean I am from Alberta and I don't get, get much chance to be out here mostly in the summer so did you play for the Bombers before I heard I read in the reminder about the proposal and the win and all that type of stuff well that was out there but I just I didn't know much about your coaching background uh no I uh started coaching here I guess it was my first stint and uh, I played actually junior in North Battleford so a little bit of a rivalry when uh, we go back there but the boys have been good to me and our record I think is pretty good uh, yeah. since I've been here against them and uh, yeah I grew up in Balford played hockey there minor hockey there um, the midget triple A in Saskatoon for the contacts back in Balford for three years uh, scholarship Lake Spear State and uh, toured around the semi-pro for a little bit and decided I wanted to become a coach and uh, here we are and you're a run-up in the scoring race twice was that true yeah a couple years in a row uh, runner-up in scoring race uh, runner-up MVP uh, to the same guy so uh, things are were uh, good, and uh, you know we uh, we made it to the finals uh, two years in a row and lost in uh, six and seven games. Uh, but uh, hopefully this year's the year where I can finally put a ring on my finger. Well, and uh, four and zero, things are, are things are going well. Roach has been a, a real impact player for the for the Bombers. Uh, who else is performing well? I, I've noticed Roach obviously, and I've noticed uh, Devin Buffalo. It's some really outstanding saves at key times in games so far. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, Buff's definitely been our un, uh, unsung hero so far. I mean, he uh, we gave up a couple of breakaways here and there because we're trying to be so offensive and uh, playing a little bit run and gun, and he's uh, stood in there for us and made some dandy saves, to say the least. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can do the same. And uh, tomorrow night, Will Dung's going to go. So um, looking forward to seeing him in his first start as a bomber. And, um, yeah, we're going to keep her going. Thank you, Michael George. An exciting hockey story proposing its center ice to his beloved and going 4-0. Kindersley in. 
hopefully after the weekend we're going to be 6 and 0 head out on the road maybe 7 and 0 with any kind of luck at all well uh, actually we're in town the next weekend too but thanks. that's what i'm saying thanks that's what i'm saying yeah. hey thanks we'll for be being on the show 8 and 0 8 and 0 by the time you hit the road yeah not 6 and 0 Oh, I'm eight. sorry. I'm sorry about that. It's good that you correct them. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything. Well, yeah. I, I don't even read the paper. I don't go online. I just make all this stuff up. Hey. But he, th- he, he does. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Shot Cable TV. Don't go away, because me and Pete are going to do a little see you later segue. So stick around for the big closing. You don't want to miss that, because sometimes, well, I just say the most outrageous things. So stick around. Well, Peter, certainly one of our more memorable shows. Maybe I should say memorable shows. You on talking about your dad, Blair Davidson, on that team that played the Russians back in 1974, whatever. This is only in flim flon. I mean, homegrown guys gone on to do well. What a great thing. Yeah, you know, I mean, Blair was quite a defenseman, all kidding aside, in his day. And even, you know, when we were playing in the Roller Goodwin tournament all the time together, there was a few games when Blair would um, just kind of show guys he could stop them if they wanted to hot dog a little bit. And great guy, great family, and a yeah. great defenseman. Well, the way I remember Blair doing it, he'd just wrap his arms around you and, and, and basically, well, around your ankles and, and take the penalty, right? Well, you know, yeah. And you, and you said, you know, that he was the weakest player at the Willowville <laughs> Buck. He wasn't. He, he was the whiniest player. He wasn't the weakest player. He probably was the whiniest. Well, what though. are you going to do when your little brother's, like, skating rings around yeah. you? That's well, got to be tough to take. It is. It is. But he was a great player. Great guy, too. Great player, great, yeah. great guy, great that's Flanonian. Right. Which is, I mean, the great player part, that's a lot different from you, actually. Well, yeah, everyone, everyone who ever seen me play knows I'm terrible, and that's not, certainly not my strength. My strength is looking good on TV, apparently. But anyway, hey, thanks for tuning in to the Bomber Show because... Good luck, Bombers, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got it going this year. Things are happening, so, you know, it's a good start. Here you go. You want a good start. You want a strong finish. You want to improve throughout the year, and that's what the Bombers are going to do this year. I think they got a lot of pieces in place to be a very competitive team in this league, and we have a high expectation, and there's nothing wrong with that, because if you don't set your expectation pretty high, you'll settle for anything, right? So that's not so good. And you know what? If they keep winning, I'm just anxious to watch these shows and see if you can become more animated. That's what I'm. No, 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 no. I'm just getting. Yeah. I, I am just I getting warmed up because when it translates to TV, it's not quite so. But you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Shaw Cable TV, the Bomber Show, once again on all over the world, even to Olds, Alberta. You can get this on YouTube. People all over the world tune in on, on a weekly basis, Pete, for the show. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Like I say, we'll catch you next time on The Bomber Show on Shaw Cable TV.